Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14, and welcome back to more Balloons Tower Defense 4. So, yeah, if you actually pay attention, um, I am one round ahead. That's because I accidentally pressed the freaking play button. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, I, I pressed the, the play, and I, when I made a round go by, I'm like, oh shit. Oh well, it's not the end of the world, and that's all good. Anyways, let's continue, how about that? So here we go. Play, and yeah, we should, you know what, I'm gonna get a super monkey to be safe. There we go. That should help, you know, with this battleship right here, and you know, this, uh, super monkey. Yeah, they're definitely gonna help, you know, balloons should not really be leaking through anymore, at least I hope they don't. Um, and I think next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get this one and give it an Operation Dark Storm. These rounds really should just fly by, you know, like I said before, beginner stages, not a problem, not a problem at all. Especially if you just know perfect placement of towers and you pick the best one, for example, if there's water. Get the Buccaneers, they're very useful for the price, you know, that very cheap. Um, if you are, if you're in uh, places that kind of loop around in a circle, for example, place Ring of Fires in places where balloons cross over a lot because they're basically a circle area of effect, you know, so that makes them better. Super super Monkeys are very flexible, you know, they're, they can go anywhere. Uh, Moab Maulers, always place them in the beginnings where they can actually pop the Moabs and stuff like that. And yeah, that's uh... Triple shots, those are also very flexible, you know, the spike pulse or whatever. You can put them pretty much wherever you want, also you want to start by putting balloons in places where uh, the double darts can easily get them, you know, basically just directly ahead, for example here. Put a balloon, or uh, not a balloon, a monkey facing down, see that's a good example. So yeah, now we're going to give you super range and laser vision, and that should make it even easier. Um, so yeah, let's see, uh, we should be really close to finishing beginner stages, at least I, I hope so. Or maybe not really, I don't know, hmm. I'm not sure. My plan initially was actually that, um, yeah, I should have actually talk about this, but this video is gonna go up on, uh, Saturday, or yeah, Saturday, I think. I hope. Wait, wait, wait let me think. Yeah, it's Saturday. This video is going to go up on Saturday. And uh, basically, I, ha I actually had plans to, on Saturdays, just make it like at the World of Magic weekend or something. Basically, Saturdays and Sundays, I would just upload the World of Magic. Whether it was two videos of the World of Magic per day to walk through, or one of the walkthrough and one trolling video per day. Basically, tr two, tro two trolling videos, you know, on the weekends. Something like that. But I ultimately did not have time to do it for this weekend. So maybe next weekend, you know, by the time next Saturday is in one week from now. I might actually start with doing a World of Magic weekend. That seems like a pretty good idea, you know. People actually like the World of Magic more than any other project that I've done. So far, Harvest Moon is, you know, competes very well in there. People actually like Harvest Moon a lot. I've taken a break on that one. and I do actually plan on coming, you know, finishing that eventually. But, um, I do want to get back to it within a few weeks. I really do. The thing is that that game gets very, very repetitive and... Despite how fun it is, that repetitiveness really, really gets to you and it really starts to bore you and then you don't know what to say. You're like, yeah, so we're just going to come here and now over here, same thing. You get the idea. It's very repetitive and because of that, the commentary tends to not be as good as it could be. And I don't want to do that, which is why I take a break, you know, refresh my mind, play other games, then come back to Harvest Moon so it feels new, you know, so it feels completely new and I have new things to say. And so I don't really have to be relating to the to the past and say, yeah, so we're going to come here and, you know, whatever. If, since it feels new, I'll just keep talking about new stuff, you know, and, you know, just whatever. You got the idea. Stuff here and there, but... Yeah, um, after this, uh, another thing I was going to do is actually that, um, this playthrough or whatever, this one should actually be an LP, not a side LP. The thing is, I've been, I've been doing one video per day of this game for since it started, you know, without any stops. Now, I know that, I know I've done that for the World of Magic too, with the exception of the first day. Because I know that for the World of Magic, I uploaded one on the February 7th. I'm not going to forget that day, but that was the first day I uploaded the World of Magic video. And I also, um, on Saturday, I did not upload one, but on Sunday I did. Uh, at least I think that's how it was. But basically from like the 9th or 10th of February, I have uploaded one video per day of the World of Magic. You know, and I don't plan on Stopping? Why the hell am I not? Oh my god. Well, I mean, that's the thing with beginner stages. They're just too simple. You know, there's not much to say, but... Um, yeah. That one I haven't, like I said before, 
actually stopped. I've been, been doing it non -stop. So people might say, well, why don't you do that one as a normal LP, then not a side LP that you're going to take breaks? Even though I don't plan on taking a break of the World of Magic anytime soon, just because it's so fun and people like it, at the same time, it's an MMORPG, and there's no defined set point to end the game. You know, it's not a campaign game. That's why I can't do it. The Loon's Tower Defense, though, there is. Once I do all the courses, it's done. You know, it's done. Harvest Moon is also, you know, a defined beginning to end. It does eventually end, although it's going to take forever. I'm not kidding. It's going to take forever to do that. And because of that, I just, I can't. You know, I can't make it a normal LP because I'm going to be taking it on a break. And I don't like putting normal LPs on break or like on hold or something. I don't like doing that. So basically, if a game is too long, which I know I'm going to have to break, or if a game doesn't have a defined end to the game, then I'm going to have to make it a side LP, but the thing is Bloom's Tower Defense doesn't fall into any of those categories, at least I hope it doesn't. So I don't know, um, I might actually have to change this to an LP, not a side LP. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is that this game is pretty damn fun. Not as fun as the World of Magic, I am having much more fun doing that one. Because it's more interactive, you know, it's actually online. So people are actually able to see, you know, me there and then you know they can talk with me socialize when i'm not recording when i'm recording though sometimes i do tend to you know just show something you know some of the conversations here and there but still you know you get the idea it's a it's much more interacting let's play you know really lets me interact with other people whether it's subscribers or just other people who have seen the video and like hey i saw you on youtube you know and yeah like yeah cool thanks but yeah now after this game i mean i know it's kind of early this one but, um, I do have some plans as to what I'm going to do next. Um, maybe what I'm going to do is get back into Harvest Moon after I finish this game. Basically be running two side LPs at once, the World of Magic and Harvest Moon. Or I could also be doing other games, you know, going back to console games. I mean, Harvest Moon is a console game, but I mean, like, doing, oh, look at that. Deflation mode, you start with 50,000 money, but you never get any more. Banana farms are disabled. I never actually played that mode before. I mean, if you guys have... You can go ahead and recommend it if you like it or something, but I never actually played it. Uh, Bloom seems to be leaking through a bit. Nah, no, not really. We seem to be doing okay. We are. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, should I get another... Nah, I'm good actually. As I was saying, um, I do kind of want to go back to, uh, console games. Like, LP console games, you know? Harvest Moon is a side LP. I'm talking about real LPs, like for example, another game I, some people have actually asked me because I played Super Mario 64, although not many people actually saw that LP, but um, um, some people, by some I mean like two people, are like, hey, do Paper Mario, Paper Mario's fun, <laughs> I'm like, I love Paper Mario, I love Paper Mario, it's one of my favorite RPGs, it really is, I, I mean, despite how simple it is not compared to other, you know, mo more modern RPGs, I personally think that some of those systems in that battle, or like, you know, the battle system, inspired some games in the future. And then Paper Mario 2, The Thousand Year Door, that one improved significantly. It's a much more enhanced, you know, battle system. I really like it. I've grown to like the game. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Just because of, I, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not a super amazing story because, you know, it's a Nintendo game. Nintendo games don't emphasize too much on the story, you know, especially Mario games. It's the same thing, you know. Just Bowser or some other enemy kidnaps Peach, and then you as Mario keep you know leveling up or improving or you know get better, and you eventually rescue Peach and that's it. But yeah, there's you know not much to say. But I, I still like the whole battle system, the whole the whole game in general. What to what the hell? I finished it already. Oh my god, this was just shit. I wasn't even paying attention. Just whatever. Yeah. So. Now that we finished that, the next stage we're going to play is going to be... Let's take a look. New game. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. So we did Ocean Road. That one's Intermediate, 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 Beginner, Beginner. We haven't done that one because it's slightly harder than these other ones that I wanted to do first. Uh, there's also this one, Beginner, Beginner, Intermediate. Okay. I think the next one I'm going to do is this one, Trick or Treat. Yeah. Trick or Treat is pretty fun. Some of the towers are actually like, they have a different design, but whatever. Uh, we're also going to be upgrading because I think we have a uh, five, yeah, we have five medals. So we can actually get upgrades now, the ones that require five. So we'll do that next time. So goodbye, everybody, and until next time.